Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Uh, now we're going to talk about upgrading my computer, which is broken right now. So you can see this is my old motherboard that's currently on the computer that I'm going to change because that is the the only way, okay, is to get rid of the motherboard and get a new one. And you can see my motherboard is of about six or seven years of age and you can see it supports the second generation Intel core processors and right now we're up to about the ninth generation so um, if I get a new motherboard chances are I'm gonna get a new CPU because if you have a look at my old CPU this i5 second generation uh, this is not going to go on a new motherboard okay so um, you can see that the specifications for the uh, for the CPU is LGA1155 okay and it should say that here so if I search for 1155 yes socket supported so the new motherboard that I'm going to get is not going to be this type. So if I go on a computer shop that is very popular in Brisbane, so let's say I go to Umar, okay, and then I look for um, look for a new motherboard. So let's go to categories, motherboard. Uh, Intel, you can see that there is no LGA1155 anymore. Okay, so if you go to motherboard, it's either 1151 or 2066. So that these motherboards come with a different type of socket, which means my CPU will no longer work. So I need to buy a new CPU as well. Okay, so other than buying a new motherboard, new CPU, another thing I want to point out is that I also need new RAM. So you can see here that this motherboard supports DDR3 RAM. DDR3 RAM. Whereas the new motherboard that I'm getting, okay, so if I go to Umar again, And I go into motherboard, sorry to keep doing this. I need to be more organized next time. But if I go to the new motherboards uh, in LGA1151, which is uh, a later model, you can see if I just buy a cheap motherboard, so let's say I sort from price low to high, Okay, you don't want to buy one that's too cheap, so I'm going to buy one over a hundred dollars. So let's say I'm going to buy, let's say I buy something like this. Okay, and you can see that um, the socket is one one five one, and it's DDR four RAM. And DDR3 RAM does not go on DDR4 RAM slots. So I basically need to buy motherboard, CPU, and RAM. I need to buy these three things. Okay, so I'm going to buy them. And then I will show you what I've bought. So these are the things that I have purchased. I've actually already picked them up but I will talk to you about what I have bought. So I bought a motherboard with uh, support for LGA1151 socket, which means that I could get a much later, much newer CPU. So let's have a look at the motherboard. And the motherboard um, is, oops, what's going on? Why is it doing this? 
Motherboard is only $105, but it supports a 8th and 9th generation processor. Okay, so it's a much better processor. Um, it supports DDR4 RAM, so I can get a much faster RAM because currently I only have DDR3. So the new CPU that I have bought, you can see here I've bought a 9th generation CPU i3. And let's have a look at this CPU. Now, the funny thing about the CPU is that I wasn't sure whether it comes with a fan. Okay, so if you buy this CPU, even though it does not say that it comes with a fan, so you can like search for fan, it doesn't show up. But if you buy exactly this model, okay, it actually does come with a fan. So if you buy exactly this model, you can again check with the shop to ask whether it comes with a fan or not, but it's already got a fan. So what else does, uh, what else did I buy? So therefore these two things are not necessary. You don't need a separate cooler or fan and you don't need thermal paste because it's already on the fan that it comes with uh, inside the box for the CPU. Okay, um, and you can see I bought the DDR4 RAM, so I bought two 8 gigabyte sticks, and you can see that matches what is on the CPU because the CPU it keeps going into categories for some reason, which is annoying, but it supports DDR4 RAM, and if you have a look at the picture on the CPU, which um, is over here it only has two RAM slots okay one there and one no two RAM slots one two down here so therefore don't buy more than two sticks okay so last thing you want to check is some of these motherboards require a BIOS update before the CPU can be put on it so I have checked with the shop uh, I asked them, will this motherboard support this CPU, 9th generation CPU, without a BIOS update? And they said, yes, it'll work. And they even tested it for me. So they put the CPU on the motherboard and see if the computer turns on. Okay, if it does, then it doesn't need a, a BIOS update. Otherwise, what the shop can probably do for you is put an older CPU on, update the motherboard, and then give you the motherboard. Okay, so that is what is required when you want to update your uh, motherboard. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next episode where you will see me put these things onto my computer. Guys, see you next time.